said it has 14 of these municipalities, Varadero, it's a special place in Matan, Keys and Isle, at north and south of the big one. Okay, that's the uh, national territory of Cuba. And here in Matanzas, we have this kind of plantation. Maybe you know the name of these plants. Sometimes people, they say pineapple. And that's because that it's a very, uh, it's a rich zone. I mean, there we have discovered oil. And that's why we have uh, three companies in our country from one from China, one from Venezuela, and another one from Canada. This uh, Canadian company, it's been here in our island, here in this area, in the west of Cuba, well now, for uh, over 30 years, but now even more, because we have discovered more oil on the island, and they have also built some oil refineries, and it's excellent, because the power plants of Cuba work with oil. So we don't have to import as much oil as we had to do in the past. The little town that we see here, that is the river Camarioca, is the name of the river, it flows into the ocean. And the town, the name, it's Boca de Camarioca. Boca means mouth. And that's because the first families who built their houses here, they built them very close to the mouth of the river. That's why the name of the town is Boca de Camarioca. It used to be a very small town before 1959, before the triumph of the Cuban Revolution led by Fidel Castro. This town used to be the first inhabitants of Cuba, okay, that were called Indians, you know, by the Spaniards when they arrived for the first time in the 1500s. Cuba was discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus, and in the 1500s the conquest of the island began and there were Indians living on the island. There were people who lived in tribes and many of them lived in this area of what we know today as Matanzas. So Panimar is the name of this beautiful river, which is very clean. There are two camping sites by the river. It's where Cubans go in their vacations. The Bay of Matanzas, which is the uh, second deepest bay in our country. Matanzas has a population of around 135,000 inhabitants and it's a nice place. It is, uh, what we say, New Havana and Old Havana or Habana Vieja. And today we're gonna see both of these parts, Old and New Havana. So in Matanzas, we have our country and that's why the university is uh, has his name I mean, as a way to honor him. Universities in our island are free. Well, educational system in Cuba, it's completely free. Since primary schools till the universities. We have uh, many primary schools in our island, many, many of them, even in the countryside, in the most isolated places, like in the swampy areas, also like in the mountains, we find some little primary schools, sometimes for five or six kids, and they will have one teacher with a little school, with a computer, with a video, with a uh, TV set, so they have or to um, continue three more years in what we call as free universities. These free university schools, they were also uniforms, but now blue, and they stay there for three years as well, 10, 11, and 12th grade. Now when they finish 12th grade, at the end, they uh, decide that many students, they have the choice to go to universities. Choice which uh, depends on their exams. I mean, there are some special final exams, and if they pass them, so they choose, they make a uh, a kind of, uh, well, list of five options of what they would like to study and depending on the results of the uh, final exams then they go to universities. Uh, season of tourism because it is winter for us but it's not winter for many people who live in other uh, countries like for example Canada where real, where do you have what you know what cold is. For us, for us our um, winter can be very cold, but for you, our winter, it's probably like summer, okay? That's why we get so many tourists. 
in our winter time in Cuba. We also call it the uh, high season of tourism. So this is the uh, old part of Matanzas, and they are preparing all and everything because the carnivals are about to start. Probably next week we're gonna have carnivals here in Matanzas, always celebrated in August. They always do it in this month. So Matanzas was founded in uh, 1693. 1693, there were some European families who decided to settle down here. They found a small village in this west part of Cuba. And later, when the uh, sugar cane was introduced in our country, because sugar cane was introduced by the Spaniards, began to increase slowly, but very big development, this sugar cane industry. And there were also some families who built sugar cane mills and around uh, around Matanzas. Also there is a port, a harbor in Matanzas and there was a big amount of sugar leaving the country through this port in Matanzas that gave this city a big relevance in the country. So this is one of the symbols, this bridge, it's one of the symbols of the city. We call it La Concordia and it's one of the symbols because we have many bridges in Matanzas. That's why many people know it as the city of the rivers and the bridges or the Venice of Cuba. Okay, we have four rivers and they all flow into the bay and we have many bridges. That's the reason why Matanzas is known. And the um, origins for this name they come from, well, a long time ago, when uh, the Indians were living here, when the uh, Spaniards started their occupation, they started to conquest Cuba, and then uh, many of our Indians were killed by the Spaniards. Many of them died because of the uh, terrible epidemics these Europeans brought to Cuba. These, uh, our Indians, they were not used to these exotic diseases, so many of them suffered these and they died. Also, uh, many others killed themselves. They killed themselves because they were not happy to be a slave. They didn't like that way of uh, living, that's why they killed themselves. But most of them were killed by the Spaniards when they tried to protest or to fight against this cruel oppression. That's the reason why the Indians, our Indian population decreased so much. It was really sad to see that, but the 16th century, it uh, witnessed the extinction of a race. That's the reason why we don't have more from our Indians. But they mixed, I mean, and from there, you get also a very nice view, so you can make also beautiful pictures from that bridge. So also we have brown plates. So brown plates are also state-owned cars, but these are the uh, managers or the bosses of the companies who have black plates. And white, white ones are for important people from the government, Cuban government, like maybe, maybe you have seen, maybe this is your first time in Cuba, maybe not, and maybe some people have seen that at the um, entrance or when we just leave a city you see one or two people and they wear kind of yellow uniform and there are many people there so we call them amarillos amarillo is yellow the color of their uniform Matanzas and La Havana as you can read there in that sign so at the left side we see again this beautiful valley of Jumuri, which is known as well as the uh, valley of the royal palm trees. Royal palm trees are our national tree. So national tree of Cuba is the royal palm tree and we have millions of them in this valley.
club. You know, that's our famous oh. rum. It's the most famous rum at the bar when you had the piña colada. There was a bottle of three years of Havana Club. It's there. They make rum, Havana Club rum, there in that factory. And that's our Cuban medicine. Okay, that's our Cuban medicine. So Havana Club, as I said, is the most famous one, but we also make many other brands of rum, different ones. There is one uh, rum distillery they signed it was for 11 years I'm sorry 100 years so it has a term of 100 years <laughs> This big stadium that you see here at the right is the Olympic Stadium of Havana. It was built in 1991 for the Pan American Games. At that year, Havana was the seat of the Pan American Games in 1991. And it's a stadium for track and field. So it's a track and field stadium. And uh, sometimes people think it's in 1589 and they built it right at the entrance of the Bay of Havana to protect the old town from the pirates. The Morro Castle, it is, as I said, at the entrance, se uh, approximately 700 meters long. It is as well as the highest bridge of Cuba. After it was finished, it became one of the wonders, one of the seven wonders of the uh, architecture in Cuba. to here to the city of Havana now we go to see the old part of the city we are going to uh, visit the municipal province of Havana is divided into 15 municipalities one of them is the big municipality of Havana Vieja or old Havana and we go now to see the oldest part from this municipality okay it is the first uh, built in that area exactly where we go now. On the left side you see that big fortress. We call it San Carlos de la Cabaña, built by the Spaniards in um, 1763, a year after the British had taken the city. So the British took Havana in seven months. After this, Spain Okay, let's continue. So, uh, also, you see there, that's the big uh, statue side of the bay, we find all the factories, the important industries, there is an oil refinery, a power plant, the harbor, it's all located on that area, the left side of the bay of Havana. We are going to start our walking very, very soon. You can leave your staff in the bus if you want. It is safe because Alfredo stays in our bus all the time. And I know you're going to be uh, good and disciplined and I don't have to uh, tell you that it has to be in a group because that's what we are. Okay, all together, the 45 of us walking and having a nice time in the old town. Let's do it.
Ты
Firmo. O Firmo, to a ti platira, to ne znam. Εδώ δεν έχουν φορούς στο πάξι. We go straight to from old to new Havana. We're gonna drive in a nice avenue. We call it Malecon. It's a very popular avenue here in Havana. Also the seaside avenue, popular because a lot of people go there in the evening. Lots of young people like to. Uh, they go with their guitars. They play music. They also take uh, bottles of Cuban medicine, and they have uh, good times in the Malecon. Also, we see a lot of fishermen people playing their musical instruments and only guitars also uh, they they come here they find their muse here in the malecon you'll see it. this is the malecon also it has a very nice view from here we see most of the uh, buildings of new havana the houses that you'll see at the left well of course <laughs> uh, are mm, some of them are in restoration some others are still well new a huge a huge restoration as you see the problem is that these houses are always uh, well as they are here they are very close to the sea and every time there is a storm or a hurricane or bad weather we have very high waves and they of course hit straight to the facade of the houses that's why they are in those very bad conditions but they are repairing them they are repairing them which of course will take time and money to do that and it will take uh, probably when they finish with the first ones <laughs> they will have to, I mean the last they will have to start repairing the first ones they did 
about maybe two or three years because it is uh, here always the houses every time there is a storm the houses always get this salty wind from the sea in the new part of the city new havana which is also divided into different municipalities we get one which is very popular we call it el vedado vedado it's where we find the uh, havana libre hotel it's well maybe for some of you here in the front it will be easy to see it the uh, havana libre hotel i'm going to show you now it's the tall hotel at the back which has the blue sign on top Habana Libre the blue right the one in the back with the blue letters Habana Libre that used to be Habana Hilton before 1959 it was owned by this American company but now well after 1959 became Habana Libre and Libre means free that it's a hospital the tall building at your left it's a hospital a real one okay this is a real hospital and it's hermanos almejeras one of the best hospitals in the city the monument that we passed the men on the horse max um, antonio maceo one of the generals of the maceo. war of independence in the uh, 1800s Also, we're going to see a very beautiful hotel, also very popular, National Monument of our country, the National Hotel of Cuba, Hotel Nacional. It's the one right there on the hill with the Cuban flag in front. That's the National Hotel, built in 1930. And we see also the Havana Libre from here, much easier to see it from here. Havana Libre and Hotel Nacional, built in 1930 by the Cuban government and also it was very famous at that time the 30s, the 40s and the 50s because it had a very big casino very big and very popular casino so many famous people visited Havana and stayed in the National Hotel No, 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 casinos were all closed after 1959 It's, yeah there is a square also here. We know it as Elian Gonzalez. Maybe some of you remember Elian Gonzalez. It's a Cuban boy. And he was in the middle of a conflict between his father, who was in Cuba, and his uncle in Miami. He was there and his father was protesting because he wanted his kid back to Cuba. And his uncle wanted to keep the boy there. It was because his mother, they tried to get illegally to the United States in a boat but they, um, they all died, only he and one couple, they were the only one who uh, survived from this expedition. And then the Cuban government built the square to protest against this right in front of the U.S. Office of Interest. This tall building here is the American building in Havana. The American building in Havana, and it was uh, then the square used to protest and it took a year till they finally send the kick the uh, the boy to Cuba and he lives in Cárdenas Cárdenas very close to Varadero the same same famous place where I live <laughs> It's off. Don't you think it's time to put at least a fan? Yeah, or please. you yeah. tell me. Yeah. Yes, please. At least some fan. Some. some to what? So we wait. Yeah. Uh, That's another monument. Calixto Garcia. Yeah. Also fought against Spain in the wars of independence. <laughs>
there are two more hotels in this area. The green one there, that's the Riviera Hotel, also from the 1930s. And the tall one, Melia Cohiba, like the cigar, Melia Cohiba. It's a five-star hotel built in the early 1990s. Another tunnel. It's under the uh, the river. It's a river. Almendares is the name of the river. Nice houses which were built in the early 1900s by the richest families from Havana. That's the Fifth Avenue. Unfortunately, uh, big buses are not allowed to drive on the Fifth Avenue. But we will see also some of this area because there are many beautiful houses here in Miramar and also most of the embassies are here in this municipality of Havana except one, the uh, Spanish one, that it's in Old Havana He gave his mass also in this same square. There are many important buildings around the square. This is considered the very left. The one in front, it's the National Library. So we are stopping here. In convertible pesos. Also, we see many cars, many of these old cars with yellow plates, Ribeas, taxis. Also, in the park that we're gonna see at the left, there are uh, many people because it's a place where many of the uh, local buses they stop in this area, in this park. They go to different places, different municipalities in Havana. That nice tower, it used to be the uh, phone company, American phone company. Now it's still phone company, but of course, Cuban one.
are many of these American old cars parked over there just waiting for passengers. Two more here. That big building, it's where we go now. We're gonna park uh, next to the Capitol. The Capitol building, it's a very famous building in Havana. It was built from 1920 to 1929 after the capital in Washington, the world. Good for you to know this one is higher, a few centimeters higher than the one in the US. So our capital building was built as their offices at, the both, at both sides, left and right side of the capital building. Also the main office of the president used to be there, used to be, because now it's a museum. Okay, that it's the entrance of the Chinatown. Well, behind those trees, there's a big gate, and that's the Chinatown, the uh, entrance of the Chinatown in Havana. So, as I said, also the seat of the famous school of ballet of our country. It's a very beautiful theater, and in front, if you walk over there, you're gonna see a big park. It's the Central Park of Havana. Very popular place. Very. about the famous bar, Floridita. So it's here, right? The corner at the right, that is the Floridita. Some of the hotels built around the Central Park, which has, as you can see, a statue of Jose Marti, our national hero. The big museum, it's a national, uh, sorry, fine arts museum, the one, that big museum there at the left. And this is a shopping mall. We call it Manzana de Gomez. There's also a very nice building, we'll see it. It's a brown art deco building, Edificio Bacardi. It was built by the Bacardi family. It's a very beautiful building. It has a B, you see in every window, Bacardi. And also it has a bat on top. That's a symbol of the Bacardi rum. Now it is used by other companies they have their offices in that beautiful building also nice restaurant it's also important in our history there you're gonna find some trucks planes uh, uh, cars that were used by the rebel army to fight against Batista and the white yacht 
in the case, the glass case, that is the grandma yad, is the name, grandma. It was used by Fidel Castro, Raul Castro, Che Guevara, they were 82, and they came in that yacht from Mexico. The white one, the one in Mexico in 1956. And in two years, they defeated the army of Batista. They were fighting, but they took the war from the east to the west, so to all the provinces of the island. And this building, which is in restoration now, is the presidential palace, the one I was telling you, which was the, um, the house of 21 presidents from 1902 till 19, sorry, from 1929 till 1965. Presidential palace. Thanks. Now, Museum of the Cuban Revolution. Castro to stop the invasion. In 1961, the one I was telling you when I show you on the map, the Bay of Pigs, in 1961, that tank was uh, the one uh, in which we did. also built by the Spaniards and now used as a police station, the port. <laughs> okay, 45 minutes. The quarter past five, quarter past five, we meet in the bus.
No, no, we have one. 